what's going on everybody i'm back with a brand new video and i don't have a lot of time and i got a lot to say so i'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna dive right in um right into the deep end so as you know or some of you may not know sacramento king's point guard rajon rondo he got suspended uh for one game um late last week or earlier in this week because he said something anti-gay to a uh, referee who later came out as actually being homosexual. Now, I found the timing of that rather interesting, but that in and of itself is not really the point of this video. Um, it's actually served as a case study, uh, black people, to understand how we are treated and perceived um, when it comes to wrongs in this country. Now, like I said, he got suspended for a game, whatever. That's, you know. And what I noticed is I saw so many people that were saying and, and even writing articles that, that one game suspension was too lenient. He should have gotten more and all of these things. And how could you say such, such an irre irreprehensible thing and so on and so forth. And it made me really think about some other things. Like, for instance... And I'm going to get to, to, to what I really want to get into. When Cam Newton said the referee called him, or, or said a racial epithet to him, it was, well, you know, it, it's his word against his, and, you know, we don't have any proof, and, you know, it was squelched, and nothing ever came of it. Now, this situation, immediately, NBA suspends him, done. And the fact that you have people... Not only fans, or, or but but people um, in the media who, who have positions of influence are saying, or were saying, that this suspension was too lenient and all of these types of things and that he should have gotten more. Black people, I want you to understand where you fall on the totem pole, and I'm going to explain why. Because think about this. When, and I'm going to draw for, from a few others, when Paula Dean was went on her nigger tirade and wanted to throw slave parties and all this and she got up there um with that so-called apology talking about i is what i is which was an insult to black people um which it was more insulting that you had black people actually wanting to trot out and saying we need to forgive and i'm going to come back to that real quick um you know when when dog the bounty hunter had his deal both of them, if you'll notice, several weeks after Paula Dean, I read an article, she signed some $75 million deal with um, some company, so she's back doing her thing. As a matter of fact, I was in a, a store the other day. She's got a, still being sold in stores, her line of certain mattresses or home goods or whatever. Dog the Bounty Hunter, back on television. Riley Cooper, when the, the, the wide receiver for the Eagles, when he, you know, went on his his nigger tirade, um, it was almost, you know, they he missed two weeks, you know, and and was right back. But anyway, so meanwhile, Isaiah Tom, uh, Isaiah Washington, <laughs> you know, when when he had his thing, um, I think he said one of his friends was acting like a fag or something like that. I have hardly seen him. As a matter of fact, I hadn't seen him on TV since. And no one has said, oh, that the homosexual community needs to forgive him. That, you know, just taking him off uh, whatever show that he was on was too harsh. And, you know, you need to forgive. You never hear that from any other community whenever they are wrong. But somehow, when someone does or says something greasy to black people, it's always that we need to forgive. Or, and they will they will trot out just like with the donald sterling thing where did he go he went to to you know these that buck dancing coon factory called a church down there and they they welcomed him with open arms and 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 you know how that went but you know they you you don't see that and and one of the reasons is you've got to understand this is that and I'm, I'm using them for il illustrative examples. The Jewish community and the homosexual community, they um, they actually have somewhat their economic game in order. So they actually have the ability to met out repercussions 
um, against someone who says something that is not in their best interest. So if you say something, they got the money to actually do something about it. Um, we don't, quite honestly. And so that is, that's, that's one of the reasons we don't have a mechanism in place to even try to do anything about it. So they trot out some of these bootlicking buck dancing preachers and some of these other Negroes to try to tell you to forgive. But, but that is one of the reasons, the fact that we don't have our, our economic affairs in order. We can't do anything about it. So all they're going to tell you to sit around and forgive and pray. And meanwhile, we continue to be under the boot of every other community on the planet. How's that working? Um, but you wouldn't ever see if if uh, if it was road reversal, like with, with some player had said something um, about another community, I can guarantee you that there wouldn't be outcries um, to forgive him and that he needs to play. But somehow when it comes to us, you know, we need to we need to forgive and you need to understand black people why that is and why that will continue to happen and that that that's nothing new and that this is just a microcosm of how we are viewed and perceived in society and we need to to, to actually do something about that instead of sitting around and not saying anything or sitting around and just praying and just forgiving and meanwhile uh, these other communities are coming around and kicking us in our backside and laughing in, in many cases literally all the way to the bank but I'm going to get out of here because this video is longer than I intended and I can get my feel myself getting revved up but I'm out what do you think? The truth will rise leaving you in peace and power